Hi, Caleb with Brownells here, and in today's product spotlight, we're going to be taking a look at the Brownells exclusive Howa Actions. So these actions right here, we've had them for a while now, um, and of course you can get a Howa rifle pretty much anywhere, uh, but in order to get the barreled action in this configuration ready to be built on, uh, that is a Brownells only item. You can only get those from us. Uh, and the reason these are pretty cool, if you're not familiar with the Howa uh, barreled actions or just Howa in general, uh, they make a really solid action. And the barrels that come on here are Cold Hammer Forged, so you get a really good quality barrel. Everything's assembled, you don't have to worry about head spacing. You can put one of these together in your kitchen if you want to. Uh, super versatile, super easy, and uh, this particular one we're looking at right now, uh, this is a short action because it's a 6.5 Creedmoor. Uh, you can get them in blued like this one, you can get them in stainless. Uh, there's some Cerakote options out there as well. Threaded, non-threaded muzzles, different barrel profiles. Um, mini action, which is your like your 223, 350 Legend, uh, 65 Grendel, just to name a few. You can get them in your short actions like this one, 308, 65 Creedmoor, a bunch of other short action stuff. And of course you can get them in long action, which is like your 30 out 6 and a bunch of other calibers I'm not even going to name just because we have so many of these. Uh, also, you can get them like this one here that come with the standard bottom metal, right? And then you can also get them with a the uh, Howa detachable magazine type setup. Uh, and it just accepts its own detachable magazine and it's made out of a high impact polymer. It's really solid and really affordable and the magazines are not expensive and they work well. Uh, and also if you were to get one of the bottom metal ones or vice versa, you can purchase just the uh, either magazine or bottom metal to swap out if for whatever reason you don't like what you purchased. Uh, super easy to do. Uh, so let's talk about the actual action itself. And I'll just start with the bolt here. I'll just pull that out. So the bolts itself, um, it's they did a really good job with the machining and to I don't want to compare this to like the old factory Remington 700s, honestly, because these are just machined better. Um, I'll just say that. And the bolt, there's a ton of lug engagement on there. And that's something that you've always been kind of missing with a lot of mass production factory guns. Uh, but Howa did a really good job with that. They have a M16, it's a little greasy here. Uh, they have an M16 style extractor on there, which is arguably one of the most durable extractors for a bolt gun. Uh, those work really well. You got your standard style ejector on there. Uh, so it's push feed type setup. All right, so that's the bolts. Uh, it has a bolt knob built on. And I'll just shut that. And it has a three position safety. And it will, uh, the bolt takedown was right here. You just push that down, pull the bolts out. Uh, back to that three position safety. So you have fire, you have safe where you can still operate the bolt. And all the way back is safe, but the bolt also locks. So uh, super nifty there. And if you noticed already, you may not have, but on the action itself, machined into or forged, as I say, these are forged, uh, is a recoil lug that's part of the actual action. There's no separate recoil lug. Uh, so that's one less thing you gotta worry about. And it's just super solid. It's a really rigid way to do things. Uh, the trigger is the uh, hacked two-stage trigger, and it is adjustable, um, although they come set around roughly three pounds, if I'm not mistaken. I've never adjusted one because I've never needed to, really. Uh, these are probably one of the better bolt gun, like mass-produced factory triggers on the market, period. Um, you know me, I like two-stage triggers. If you don't like two-stage triggers, you may think differently, but you can always get a different trigger for it if that's not your thing. Um, so the whole theme of this is, you know, being versatile. That's why we sell it this way, right? All right, so uh, there's a lot of stuff available for it as far as chassis go. We got a bunch of chassis from um, MDT, which I have one of their older ones here. Uh, this is one of my older personal ones I just threw on the table. Uh, so we have MDT, uh, we have KRG, we have the Oryx, um, just to name a few, there's probably more that I'm missing, uh, but there's a ton of different stuff to choose from, so you can build however you want to build it at whatever price range you're looking at. All right, 
So we covered that. We covered the detachable magazine stuff. Uh, let's talk about scope bases. There's a bunch of different companies that make scope bases for these. Uh, this is the EGW. I've used a lot of EGW stuff in the past. I've been using them for years. And this is the One Piece 1913 base. Uh, you can get um, the two-piece bases. If you go with two-piece bases on your Howa, uh, you can use Remington 700 bases. They'll fit just fine. If you notice, that's a, similar to a 700 footprint right there. There's some things you need to know if you're looking at 700 bases. Um, but before I get into that, let me just say this. If you have any doubts whatsoever, just buy something listed as Howa bases, okay? There's plenty of them out there, but if for whatever reason you want to use 700 bases, the only 700 one-piece base that will fit, one-piece base now, that will fit, is the Howa Long Action. So if you have a Howa Long Action and you have a Remington 700 one-piece long action base, it will fit. Anything else, like the short or mini, if you want to use a Remington 700 base, it has to be the two-piece, okay? But if there's any doubts about that whatsoever and you want to use a one-piece base, just get one listed as Howa. They make it for many, the uh, short and long action. So uh, there's a little extra bit of information there. The reason I say that is because there's a bunch of conflicting information all over the internet. So that's the official answer right there. Okay. Um, so that's really all there is to it. That's all you need to know about your Howa action uh, to get started. So the reason we're doing this video, uh, because we're going to be doing some Howl builds throughout the year. And uh, stay tuned for those. We'll go through the details. We'll try out a few different stocks and just a bunch of different configurations. It's going to be awesome. And uh, later this year, we'll hit the range with them too. All right. So if you have any questions or comments, need help selecting, building your Howl, you know, whatever, feel free to give us a call on the tech line. We'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.